An alcohol molecule will react with an acid chloride similar to how water would. The lone pair on the oxygen is attracted to the small positive charge on this carbon. That carbon has a small positive charge because it's connected to two electronegative atoms. So that lone pair attacks that carbon. That breaks this double bond and forces the oxygen to be just single bonded to carbon. Here's what I mean. This chain, which could have been any length, is still attached. We have a single bonded oxygen now where once there was a double bonded oxygen. We still have the chlorine at this point attached to the molecule. And we have the oxygen of the alcohol connected to that carbon as well. Nice, so we got that carbon with four single bonds. Now, in order to reform the double bond between this oxygen and alleviate that negative formal charge, the chlorine leaves and takes a pair of electrons with it. Chloride is a pretty good leaving group. So we end up with that same carbon chain of whatever length it was on the left. We have our double bonded oxygen, which is reformed. And now we are connected to O, which itself is connected to R and H, as it was here. I've just moved it here to show that this is more trigonal planar. Now we do have a chloride byproduct that's been formed. There we go. And that chloride is what we usually show as taking away this H or deprotonating the oxygen. There's a lone pair, perhaps it likes that. And then the pair of bonding electrons now belong to the oxygen. So our final product here has that same carbon chain on the left, a double bonded oxygen, which looks like it hasn't changed, but its presence is what made this so reactive. We're single bonded to an oxygen, that single bond, that oxygen is single bonded to the, the R group from the alcohol, and you have HCl as a byproduct. Wow. What a beautiful mechanism. So oxygen attacks the carbon. That makes this intermediate, which has four single bonds at that carbon site. Double bond from oxygen reforms as the chloride leaves. And that chloride deprotonates the alcohol to leave you with an OR group from the alcohol attached to the carbonyl group of the acid chloride. You'll note that this mechanism is very similar to most of the mechanisms that take place for acid chlorides, reacting with water, ammonia, etc., etc. But here's the full mechanism. I drew it for you and hopefully helped you understand why each step is happening. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.